Okay, now I want to talk about promise.any. So recently I talked about promise.allsettled, and that was a way that we could check once we had responses from multiple promises, regardless of whether they were rejected or resolved. Here I'm going to do the I'm going to start with the same type of code in my uh, script file here. I've got two that are resolving, two that are rejecting. So I've got four promises to work with. And just as a comparison, I'm going to use the race method, which is going to tell us, hey, which was the first one that resolved? Now, the problem with the race method is if out of these four promises, the first one back is rejected, what's going to happen is we get this error message. So if I jump over to my browser and I look at this, this worked because the first of my four came back, number one was returned, and it worked. It was resolved. But if I come over here and I reject this, now an error is created. So that's the limitation of promise.race is if the first thing back is a failure, then you're going to have an issue. It's not going to work. You're going to have the catch that's running instead of the then method. Now, as far as support goes, this method was added a little bit later than all select, all settled. All settled was done about a year ago, back in 2019. Um, with any, we can see here, if I look in here, 2020, August 2020, July 2020, um, September 2020. So fairly recently, about a month and a half ago, this was added into the browser and it's still not in Edge yet. So we have limitations here that it's not supported as widely as all settled. And if we check the table on node.green, we can see in promises, it's not even listed here. We don't have the promise.any available um, to us. So that's why I'm testing it in the browser and why I'm testing it in Chrome right now is because of limited support currently. Hopefully that'll widen very soon. All right, so we have our promises. Our first one was rejected, so that's causing us the problem. Right here we can see, okay, we did the race. With the race, the first one came back as rejected, so we didn't get our code to run. So let's fix this, fix the problem that we're having with race using any. If we do promise.any, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to take these four promises, pass them in. It can be any number, but I'm going to use those four. Then I'm going to have a method where I get my response and this response is going to be the first one that comes back successfully. Now it doesn't matter if this one failed and this one failed and this one failed and this is the first one that came back. It's going to check all of them. That's what promise.any will do. It will check all of them to see if any of them succeeded. But it does pause as soon as it gets the first one that works. So if this works, we stop here. If this one works, but this one failed, we'd continue to this point. And I mean, I'm talking about them in sequence here, but these could be coming back in any order. It's like a race. They could come back in any order, but we're going to keep checking until we've got one response that is successful. Now, as soon as we have one that fails, oh, sorry, once we have all of them that have failed, that will actually trigger the catch. So this we still need. We still want to have a catch here. This will run if everything fails. So if all promises are rejected. In here, let's write out a message. We know at least one worked. And the first one back is going to be whatever this response is. So it's still a race, but if the first one or second or third, we'll skip over the failures until we find one that is resolved or until all of them have failed. And there we have it. So if I refresh this, there we go. At least one worked. Number two worked. And then we have an error for the race. So line 26 right here, that ran first and then the error on line 21. So they are asynchronous things. 
this one ran first, this one ran afterwards. So, it still works. Promise.any gives us a more effective way of doing a race condition where our code is not going to automatically fail and jump to the catch just because one of the promises in our collection failed or was rejected. Okay, I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll answer as many as I have time for. Um, if you found that helpful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.